15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. It's been 50 years since the first moon landing, a moment in history that cemented the US as the world superpower. Yes indeed, they've got the flag up now and you can see the stars and stripes. The original space race was about getting there first, but the new space race is about establishing dominance. So I think it's going to encourage other countries and companies to raise their sights and say, hey, we can do bigger and better, which is great. We, we want a new space race. Whilst private ventures into space have become the pet project for billionaires around the globe, advancements in space ventures continue to be ruled by the big six. So that's China, Europe, India, Japan, Russia and the US. Whilst the scope of their missions may defer, their aims are the same. When it comes to defending America, it is not enough to merely have an American presence in space. We must have American dominance in space. In early 2019, when Donald Trump announced his plans for establishing a space force as the sixth branch of the military, he was mocked around the world. But there's no threat in space. Who are we fighting? Satellites? A bunch of frozen monkeys? Elon Musk's convertible? But steps towards militarizing space are already well underway by the world's superpowers, and tensions are starting to rise. From Russia's satellite destroying mobile laser system to China's growing Beidou system, which is a rival to the US's GPS, warfare is well and truly in orbit. Right now, China, Russia, India, Japan and the US all have lunar missions planned from now until 2024. In January 2019, China performed the first ever landing on the far side of the moon. China and Russia both have their sights set on the moon's resources, mainly water, potentially frozen in the lunar surface. Their intention is to one day break it into hydrogen and oxygen for rocket fuel. The ability to refuel on the moon will open up further possibilities for deep space travel. Whoever holds access to the resources becomes the gatekeeper for new space travel. China's groundbreaking Chang'e 4 mission achieved another first when it managed to grow the first plant on the moon. The images released by the China National Space Administration show a cotton seed sprouting aboard the rover. Whilst it may seem like a small step for man, it's a giant leap for mankind as we actively explore the possibility of establishing a livable colony on the lunar surface. Russia, China and the US are all developing different approaches to building an inhabitable lunar base. While these missions are moon-focused for now, many see them as the necessary next step in developing human colonies on Mars and beyond. These significant advancements in science may signal a global effort to ensuring the survival of humankind, but there is no denying a now global race for strategic and economic dominance over the future.